word. Hello and welcome to the B-Side Word for another week of us discussing interesting articles. My name is Maxi. I am sat here with Dev. Yellow. Emma. Hello. And CJ. Hello. Alex is still not with us because he is on a hiatus. Yes. Is that the word? He is. Nice. So he's just relaxing for a bit, kicking it back. He's a bit lazy. Probably the best <laughs> way to put it. No, I think he's busy with a lot of other things. Yeah. So, but today we're going to jump straight into it. Yes. What is the first article, Emma? Okay, so this first article is about a... So this dad gives his... No, this daughter gives her dad a DNA test kit for Christmas because I guess it's on Ancestry.com. Yeah. So, you know, you can do your DNA and um, find out... Yeah, for your family tree, whatever. But I think what happened is she gave him... I don't really know. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in suspense. (laughs) Wait, wait. I'm on the edge of my seat. (laughs) Okay. So Joseph and Jennifer which is the parents, conceived Rebecca, the daughter, who's now 24. That's how it usually happens. Through IVF (laughs) back in 1994 after they were trying, you know, struggling to get pregnant. Um, But basically, when he did the DNA test, it showed that he is not related to her. So the hospital put the wrong man's sperm in the whole IVF process. Oh, this is how religions start, right? Where someone was... Mary did the same thing. <laughs> she was told, was like, she told everyone she was a virgin. I was like, oh, <laughs> it must be Jesus. This guy is saying that, <laughs> she's saying, I didn't cheat on you. <laughs> when really, yeah, they didn't use IVF. She had an affair. <laughs> Are we jumping to conclusions? Or that's a, that's a big leap. Well, I'm looking at the child right now and she looks awfully like the milkman. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I guess they did have IVF because they've got hospital uh, records or whatnot. They're suing the hospital and the fertility clinic. Um, Wait, I've got another joke. Yeah. Wait, before okay, you continue go, 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 go. It wasn't his. <laughs> that's not a joke. That's just a lyric. <laughs> and it really wasn't. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> Anyways, continue. But in this circumstance, it actually is his because he's raised us since she was little. Well, the, the, the plot thickens. <laughs> okay. The plot thickens. The 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 dad could actually be one of the doctors from the hospital. He put the wrong sperm. <laughs> His sperm. Did he do it on purpose? But I don't know. Oh, one of the oh. I don't know. I don't. Uh, that doctor was a massive wanker. The plot and thickens. <laughs> <laughs> is that how, is that a saying? The plot and the plot thickens. It's the plot thickens. Not the plot and yeah. the plot and. The plot and thicks. <laughs> <laughs> Earnest words. Plotten. I guess they're I'm just plotting along. Italian, <laughs> but when they did when they traced her DNA thing, there was no Italian in her at all. Like uh, zilch. Okay, if they're Italian, that means the mum's Italian as well. So yeah, but there is was the mum's egg? Oh, he's Italian then. Oh, the mum's not Italian. Mr. Cartelloni, the dad, the Cartelloni. Oh. So there Sounds was like no Italian family. DNA in her him. at all. And her DNA with the mums matched pretty closely, but nothing with the fathers. So suspecting that there was something wrong, yet they'd gone back to the hospital. Um, and I don't know how the doctor got into the mix. I don't know whether it's something that he's like, ha, 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 I'll just do my own sperm. Or if he was also just giving sperm, because, you know, you can donate did for he money. Drop, he, Maybe he, he needed the, money. Maybe he dropped the real sperm and he's like, damn it. What am I going to oh, do now? Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Damn these sperm fingers. He's like, they'll (laughs) never find out. This is back in 1992. They'll never find out. And then lo and behold, DNA kits are like, you just order them on Amazon or whatever. Okay. Can the mum actually uh, sue the doctor for child support for all those years? Oh, Uh, crazy. But I agree with you, CJ, that that's that's his daughter. Yeah. You can't take that away from him, eh? Unless he wants to leave. But why would you want to leave? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're not mine? <laughs> so so I mean, yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> it so wasn't the, his. <laughs> the lawyers that they that the family hired have narrowed the possible father down to five men, doctor being one of them. 
I think I'd be on the Murray Povich Povich show. Like, oh, this is a good series on Netflix now. <laughs> yeah, be a whole Murray series. Povich. Are you the dad? <laughs> <laughs> but imagine being the girl and that, and you just find out all of a sudden your dad's not your dad and vice versa. He thought he was as well. And it's like, you've got five possibilities now. Like that would be so horrible. It's like blind date. Yeah, it's like, who do you want? Which one do you want to choose? <laughs> you ask them all questions. Three <laughs> questions were behind a dark screen. It's blind a date. Now and it's... here is your host, Miss Silla Black. <laughs> <laughs> Love that show. <laughs> they should bring that back. Oh, um, God. I've never seen that show. Oh, you should watch it, CJ. It's funny. It's I'm funny just saying, one. are they going to actually go through other children that was done in that clinic? See if it's happened multiple times? Oh, crap. See if this Imagine is like if it's um, just some one doctor that just fought his just genes loves it. and he'd spread it. Yeah. Because that, that's what you see. people them on that, like, right? Yeah. Because yeah, it's happened a few times. Some sort of similar things. Yeah. You see that actually happen and on TV. But like, it, it can really Imagine happen. That. And yeah. there's just messed up people in the world that's like, hmm. I need my seed to be everywhere. Yeah. Oh and they're always God. the type of people that shouldn't have their seed everywhere. Yes, always. <laughs> it's always the creepy, like, little guy that should be in a corner. Yeah. <laughs> that, does, that doesn't show his face on camera. Oh, my God. Hey! Oh. <laughs> I am a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, 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 they'll trace it back to a silhouette of a man. They're like, who's this guy? <laughs> I might be creepy, but I ain't little. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, right. so, um... Are there other examples of this? <laughs> not that I've seen, but I think it has <laughs> happened. Definitely. I'm not talking about. Well, the, I mean, I'm like, not talking about the DNA. I'm talking about uh, mistaken identity. Yeah, like people switching, taking the wrong babies from hospital. What? Yeah, that's happened. Is that because the baby that they actually had was unattractive, so they thought they get the good <laughs> one? <laughs> Either that, <laughs> or they've just picked up the wrong one, or the nurse has handed them the wrong one. Like. This ugly baby can't be mine. <laughs> Give me the good looking one. I'll take that one. <laughs> Who is that guy? Who is that guy that's it's speaking? Like, CJ. Isn't this just crazy when you think about like what a nurse or a doctor has to do? Like when I worked, I don't know, if I worked in McDonald's or something and I put the wrong burger on the wrong bun or something. <laughs> it's like, oh, sorry. You got oh, the wrong sorry. Bun mixed burger. mixed you know it mean? up. But yeah. like a doctor's like, if they just press the wrong thing, someone dies or yeah. someone gets the wrong baby. Like, you it's can't just, just you... have a bad day if you're a doctor. How, like, I just, I, I put a post out actually, a while, like not long ago on my Facebook saying, I was just thinking, especially uh, nurses and doctors, but I spoke about nurses because it was the post, a picture I shared specifically on what nurses do. And it was like, if you just sit on the bus and there's a nurse opposite you, like you don't know they're a nurse, they're just another person. And like, she might have literally just come back from saving somebody's life. Yeah. She's probably on half the wage I'm on. She's probably like, going home to now help look after a family. Like, yeah. When you think about what she's doing, it is incredible. Like, yeah. It is incredible. But what then you, you would say? all oh, turn I got good to them as well. Like, I, yeah, like and say, then, the yeah, bus, they, like there the was most, a bus crash, it, the nurse is going to be that first one to help everyone. But not even in a way of, not even in the way like I do this in my job. They, on top of all that, they have to be like so caring yeah. and so compassionate towards their patients. And then they have to be easy to talk to. Like the skills that a nurse has, I just thought I'd, it's worth saying is incredible. Yeah. Hats off to the nurses out there is what you're trying to say. That, that makes That's me uh, uh, think of another question, like ranking like uh, jobs. What would be number one? Like I feel like people that save your life. What's the scale? Like what? what <laughs> save we, people's lives. Importance of importance or? to the human race. Like oh. I don't think I don't think stockbrokers are very important to the human race yeah. i don't like like nah get rid of the stockbrokers farmers you reckon farmers would be in the top 10 yeah that's an important job because we need yeah. to eat if we yeah. don't get food we will be non-existent yeah farmers we've got your nurses and doctors we've got your firefighters we've got your police, police officers? officers do you think that's in the top 10 yes police officers yes you, you need to kind of maintain some st- so it's stability. politician politician no. 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 police officers them. I don't think police officers for the human race, though. Like, I think the race would go on without police officers. Oh, you're talking human race. Yeah. Right. Okay. But then like, all of them, we'll go on without all of them, I guess. But, like, what is most critical to our, like... Mm. I don't know. That's a tough one. That That's is what a I do. tough one. I ask the tough questions. And then you give no answer. Yeah, well, I don't know them. That's why <laughs> I just ask them. 
Oh, by the way, guys, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not watching the clock. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I don't it's know actually more annoying when someone asks a question when they always know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> but, but on the, on the uh, other... What? Well... On the other hand, Maxie, it's, it's, it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's annoying someone that asks a lot of questions and go, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we need a balance. Yes. I don't know. Anyway, well. Um, <laughs> we'll leave it there. <laughs> was that the DNA article? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, poor lady. She's got five dads to choose from. This week on Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. <laughs> Max Facts. So, so the, the US has the largest air force in the world. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. What or who, should I say, has the second largest air force? So the US air China. force is the largest air force in the world. Russia. Which... Who has the second largest? Japan. Russia. I would say... England. You said every country in the world. <gasps> no, pick okay. one. Uh, oh, do I have to pick one? Oh, yes, what? that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> it's not name all the countries you can think of in your head. All right. Well, I'm confused because I feel like it's a trick question. Number one, it, it, Australia. It is a trick question. So let me show, let me let me make sure I say it properly. Okay. okay. The U.S. Air Force is the largest air force in the world. What is the second largest air force in the world? Second largest air force in the USA. World. What? Okay, he's going with the USA. Doesn't make sense. He said uh, it's a trick question. I'm tricking it back. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii. I'm going to say, <laughs> well, I'm, I think I'm going to say England because say, um, Australia, the Commonwealth or something, because that might be linked because we've got RAF, you've got RAAF. Is that linked somehow? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Um, So I'll go with that. All right, Maxi. Hang on. What's okay, CJ's so the, guess? Japan. Okay. So the, the second largest air force is the US Marines and Navy. See? I oh. knew it. I knew it. Oh. I knew it, but I wasn't sure. Oh, because so I've got... So you didn't know it? No, I didn't. But I don't understand. That's not an Air Force. But in, if you, like, as in they have more airplanes, like military airplanes than any other Air Force apart no. from the US Air Force. Are you kidding me? Nope. Even more than the Russians? Even more than the Russians. Okay, Maxi, let's do another one of your articles then. Okay, so m my article for this week is there's a mum who told her daughter she should get plastic surgery because, quote, ugly people get nowhere. <gasps> Close quote. What? What the heck? And how old's her daughter? Is it? Fourteen. Is that... <gasps> her, her daughter looks pretty. Is this the people... Is this the ones in the picture? The mum is not the, very good looking. Yeah. Emma, that'd be very weird of an article <laughs> that had two separate people that was nothing to do with the article. You don't think they do that? <laughs> Stock uh, pictures? No, I yes, but for this instant, no way. And what? this is the same mum who lied to get an NHS nose job, um, and she was in like the newspapers a while back because of that as well. <gasps> Oh, okay, so like she was like, "Oh, I broke my nose falling down a flight of stairs or something like that." I'm not sure what she said. It was her I'm daughter's sure really pretty. So I she's... think she said she needs to get a boob uh, a boob job and a bum raise. Or At fourteen, <gasps> I don't know. Okay, this is the thing. I'm not sure if she said she should get it now. Tanisha isn't the most academic of girls, so I don't really care about her education. Unlike with my boys, that's what she said. <gasps> Oh, wow. She will need to rely on her looks to get on in life, so she will need to be perfect. Ugly people get nowhere these days. Um, and then Carter told the magazine, that's the mum, she spends about £200 a month on improving her daughter's appearance. <gasps> I just read here, it just says that she's <laughs> going to have to rely on her looks to become a reality star because she's not naturally Hello, intelligent. Is there an echo in here? 
Because no, Maxie just said, said that. No, you said something else. Because she's not naturally intelligent. She's going to have to become a reality star. Is there an echo in here? Because that's what Maxie just said. Did you, Maxie? <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't say the reality star. But yeah. Yeah. Is there an echo in here? <laughs> Where someone has to <laughs> yeah, here goes. eat humble Tanisha's pie? Tanisha's going to have... <laughs> <laughs> so, can it is... Uh, Tanisha... Is Tanisha, the daughter, is going to have fillers and Botox when she turns 16 and then breast implants at <gasps> 18. Why? She's like planning also out this She also wants daughter's... to give her teenage daughter to get teeth veneers. Oh. Um, at the moment, she's just doing hair extensions, uh, eyebrow tightening, and then something oh, else. I can't see it. Oh, my God. This is, this is just another example. She wants oh, her to get a Brazilian bum lid. It's, got, it's, got it, it's some sort of, of you say. Yeah. But this is also like my... This is my parenting thoughts, right? This is like the parent putting limitations on the kid. She's like saying 14. you're not smart. You can't do this. All you can be is a reality yeah. star. Yeah, the world that she's, it's already planning the world that she's going to live in. That is disgusting. And, she's and messing up her child. She's literally it's messing sad. up the child. That's it's so sad. sad. Oh my gosh, it is. It's infuriating. I'm <laughs> she's the proof that some people shouldn't have children. I can't believe that. After her confession, a public petition was set up calling for her to be prosecuted. So far, it's only got it's got 143 signatures. She's if she's received a lot of trolling, so she's ha- she's on leave from work, stress leave. I would fire her. That was, but the the petition was wasn't on her daughter. Her petition was on her nose job, right? Because she said she admitted to milk in the system to get the nose job she wanted. Oh. So they were like, they'll, they'll she should be punished. Because that's taxpayers' money. But the thing is, the job. daughter she should be punched in the nose and have her broken. The daughter is prettier <laughs> than the mum. <laughs> the the daughter. daughter is naturally more pretty than where's, the mum. Where's the dad? Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know what she's. I don't think she's had anything done like um, like plastic surgery wise yet. But she's already doing stuff to her now to try and keep her pretty. Like, where did it said it? Uh, Two hundred pounds a, um, a month worth of. Two hundred pound a month she spends on keeping her daughter pretty. Oh, how, and why are these people letting her do stuff to the daughter already? What do you mean? What, these oh, people? No, Who are you talking about? Now it's hair extension, nail oh. treatment, and eyebrow tinting is all she's had. So, like, they're the kind of things which you can't really stop. Yeah. When she's I mean, 16, even if you're 14 years stuff, old. Right? But imagine you're the eyebrow lady and you're like, oh, can you tint my daughter's eyebrows? She's 14. And you'd be like, oh, honey, she's just 14. She doesn't need it just yet. Like, go somewhere else. But I guess there's always going to be someone that will do it mm. for yeah. her. That's disgusting. That's a form of abuse. That child's going to come up with like self esteem issues. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Because her own mother, her own mother, the one that's supposed to tell her, you know, you're you're beautiful, uh, is being like, you're not beautiful. You're not intelligent. You need to have all this work. Otherwise, you'll get nowhere. But (laughs) are we like, are we living in a fantasy world to think that the the world isn't that way inclined? It it isn't. Uh, What? That's superficial. But you're, she's teaching her child. It is superficial. But not it's a superficial to that world. But it's not to say you can't be successful by not being pretty. No, I, I understand that. But um, is the mum is the mum saying stuff that we just don't want to hear? Okay. Everyone in here has a different thing of what they find attractive. 100%. Right? So, maybe one person won't find her attractive when she's older. Yeah. But maybe the next person will. And he'll think she's perfect for him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, so we all go for what we <laughs> find attractive. So how is like superficial? <laughs> what are you saying, CJ? What he, are you he, saying? He's backing <laughs> up why this is wrong. Yeah, because I'm not saying it's like, not wrong. She'll find the person that we good for her. But they, 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 not the, like the, I guess what the mum's trying to say is not that oh you're not going to find a man. Is like if you want to be successful, like I want you to be a celebrity. I want you to do something big with your life. The only way you can do something big with your life is by being attractive because you're yeah. not smart enough. You're not attractive enough now. So what have we got left? That's what she's saying. Yeah. Mum is a bitch. Yeah. 100%. That mum is a motherfucking bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Biatch. But the mum's not even that good looking. Maybe the mum should get some work done. Like no, she Because <laughs> mum needs some she work. She has. She has had work. She came up on herself. More. She's like, oh, next generation. I cannot change this skin now. So she's working on her daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Man, mum's got issues. Yeah. That's true. So we're all in agreement like, that the mom has issues, right? Of course. Where's but do you, that? like, I asked my that, thing yeah. is like, so when I read this, I didn't, there's some things I get very emotionally like triggered by, but this one, like for some reason, I just saw it as like, that's sad. 
But yeah. it felt like you got more emotionally triggered than Dev when you read this. Um, just because um, I was I was big. I'm big on not um, putting my limitations on my kids. I'm like very aware when I'm like talking to my kids that I don't say you can't do things because I can't do it. <laughs> that that like, and yeah. I think that's what parents do to like to keep. We think we're keeping our kids safe by saying stuff that putting our limitations on them so they won't get hurt. Whereas we should just encourage them to break, always go past it. Like my big thing is that I hope my kids surpass me in every aspect of my life. So I hope they're smarter than me, taller than me. I hope they're more athletic than me. I hope they're like, you know what I mean? Everything. But like Dude, mentally, what if they, but, but then what if they don't the want to be, <laughs> what if they don't want to surpass you? What if they're comfortable just being average Joe? And Oh, then I'm happy with that as well. But like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the guy that's going to, I, it be the best version of themselves, like whatever it is. I'm I'm happy with whatever they do, but I don't want to put my limitations on them. So, um, if they just want to be who they are and and, and average Joe, that's fine. But it's not because I've placed that limitation on them. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Nice. Do you agree, Emma? Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. No, I just think it's despicable. That you're going to tell your own child that, that they're, they're not that, that like what the hell? Clearly, this child is going to have like, emotional issues in all honesty, when she's older. If you had a kid, a child, and it wasn't an attractive child to you, that kid would still be attractive, still be beautiful, right? Because you just love it. Yeah, I just I don't like know. everyone else might go Ugh, horrifying, but in your eyes, that kid's still beautiful. Mm. What's wrong with this person? I don't know. She didn't hear that song. What? Beautiful. And also, Sorry. like surgeries what are, song? are dangerous. What song? <laughs> from um, from um, um, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera. Oh. You're beautiful, oh. no matter what they say. Words can't break me down. You know that song? Yeah. But Not Christina Aguilera. It used to be, it used to be sung, <laughs> I, I've heard that song a lot better. <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> what was that, Maxi? Didn't... It's Di... Dido. That's a singer, right? Yes. yes. Eminem. Didn't she sing that? No. no. Oh. But there's so right. many songs are beautiful because there's that, that English guy that sings it. Who? Oh. James Blunt? Yeah. What is he? How does... What You're is? beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> you, you're beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's crazy that he was in the army before he became a singer. Was he a lute? Did he have his lute? And what? Did he he's like the. F he's the funniest guy. A lute. Have you seen his like a. Follow me, children. <laughs> He's um, a what guy? Funny He's a guy. really funny, funny guy. Oh, really? He got, he got I think, got an award for like the best Twitterer of the year or something. Oh, no. I don't know who, like, who was the authorizing, <laughs> governing body of that, but he got That's it. That's insane. <laughs> they tweet to the gods. Oh, Maxi, from a person um, that um, doesn't have child yet. <laughs> Why can't what, you say what, that like, in a sentence? <laughs> what, <laughs> your, uh, what would your um, <laughs> philosophy be at the moment for your uh, for a, for your future kids at the moment? What would your I don't know. That's a really really big question. What what would my philosophy be? Yeah, you're beautiful. I guess similar to you in a way, but I, my my um, I would want them to when they're at school. I would want them to see more than life than just school, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. So whether that's a hobby or I would like them to do just to feel like the world's a big place. Yeah. That's the main thing. And then if they feel like the world's a big place and then, then they can go and do whatever they want. But I think it, maybe is... one thing which can happen is people often get very depressed and anxious and stuff because they feel like they're trapped in this box. And if something goes wrong with their friends, then the world's over, right? Yeah. I would just like them to understand that life moves forward a lot and you have to seize the day kind of thing. 
So I'd like to show them the world and be like, well, you how do you say that in Latin? Do this. See you today. Yeah. C'est la vie. No, no. It's such, a, a, such is life. Sorry. Seize the day in the, Latin. It's a thing. It's um. That's what um. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> the poet <laughs> society. Sorry. What's seize the day in Latin? Um. Seize uh, the day. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> not, <a>, not Maltese. <laughs> Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Uh, seize the day. Carpe diem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my philosophy, my kids. Carpe diem. <laughs> Carpe diem. Nice. I like that. I like that. I think I think if they see the world as a as a big place, it it helps them ke- uh, stay humble as well. I feel. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like when you look at celebrities and stuff. Like I, it's, I just think I think um, I think it's very easy, and I did the same, and I see it with my sister sometimes. Is it's everything seems very linear, you know? Like that is up. That good is in that direction. Bad yeah. in this direction. Yeah. So I have lots of Instagram followers. I'm good. If I have little, I'm bad. Or yeah. There's whatever you focus your life on, like football. I'm a professional footballer. I'm good. I'm the worst in my class. I'm bad. Like I just want them to see that, like these are just small aspects of a massive, massive picture, yeah. and then they can choose like what part of that picture they want to make an impact on. Nice. Makes sense. Yep. I like that. I, I might. Know. I might implement. I'm not a dad. I might implement that. <laughs> I don't know how. Take notes. <laughs> That's I, tough. <laughs> I don't know how, but I'll implement just, that. Okay, this worker, this guy in Spain, uh, dumped his fridge down a big hill and it was recorded. I don't know if he recorded it or his friend recorded it or someone recorded it, meaning he was identified and the police have forced him to drag the fridge back up the side of the valley. It wasn't just a hill, by the way. It was a valley. And filmed him whilst doing it. <laughs> Talk about, there's your comeuppance. There's your what? Comeuppance. Definition? Like you're, like, you do what you, you like, kind of like, um, what you, deserve. you get what you deserve. Okay. Don't use words that you don't know the definition of. No, I was trying to say, uh, what's, um, uh, I still can't <laughs> think of the word. It looks like you're trying karma. to create food karma. in the air. I was thinking of karma, like yeah, <laughs> oh, okay. you get what you put out there, type thing. But, uh, when you put out there was a fridge, and when he got was a saw back. Carry out the hill, did they? What happened? They would, I'm saying, did they force him to physically carry it up the hill, or did they he say you to, have to get it back up the hill? He had to drag it back up the hill. Yeah, like could could he use a machine if you wanted to? <laughs> No, part of the that punishment was, like, was get on your hands and knees. <laughs> <laughs> Attach <Barefoot>. the strap. <laughs> it was the new strongman competition. <laughs> I don't know actually. I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't specify with, whether he was able to use a piece of machinery. But all it said was, he yeah, has a hernia now. <laughs> he was also fined. This is a lot of money. He was fined forty five thousand euros. Oh man, which is forty one thousand pounds. And a saw back. And he also and had to drag it back up. Can you? Can I? Sh- can you see? Uh, can you go back to the title? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Come up and. <laughs> oh, is that where you got it from? <laughs> yeah, but it's the right word. So, so, man who chucked old fridge fridge downhill gets his. How do you say it? Come up and. Come up and. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hell of a. That's a hell of a yeah, <laughs> title. That's a good word. There's no way they're carrying that fridge up that hill. No then. way. No way. I was trying to play the video, but it doesn't. I can't get it to play. I played the video, and the the one of them being recorded dragging it back up is just a picture of two guys. Sort of looks like they're wrestling with the fridge at the bottom. Still, I'm assuming they're going to put it on something. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Well, have you know what? Have you seen? Have you seen the um uh instant karma videos? No. So yes. like <laughs> the, the ones the ones like like let's say a car cuts off a car or it gives a bad gesture or whatever. Yeah. There's a guy that takes out his iPhone to record the other person, right? Because the person's recording him, but he's driving and he gets his iPhone out and he's gone. They, they seem like they're going like at 100 kilometers an hour. And the phone just flips away. Oh, no. <laughs> out like, the window. It's the karma, right? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what it is. Is it, it? It must be in me, like, the justice. 
You know when you see someone do something and you see, and you're just like, yep, you deserved it. Yep. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, man. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, like, oh, I've got a sore belly. Oh. <laughs> Why did I have that last piece of pizza? Oh. <laughs> I still left it in my pizza uh, fanny pack. Uh, <laughs> in my pizza fanny pack. <laughs> oh, I might need so many miso later. Oh. <laughs> oh, I snorted on live TV. Oh. That was a really loud, oh, I mean, long one. Oh, I wonder gracious. if that could be a new thing, Maxi. A new challenge. What? what make Emma cry? What? No, like, uh, <laughs> you're, having happens a, everywhere. you're having a conversation with a stranger. And you see how long you can say "awful." for. You go, oh, I, I need to go to the library. Is it? Oh. Well, we're going to call it the oh challenge. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> see how long you I can love that challenge. Yeah. And I the love other that challenge. Like, <laughs> well, if you're ordering food at McDonald's or something. Yeah. I think I'll take the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Do you have size? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Extra small. <laughs> Extra Is it for a friend? <laughs> small. And then when you stop to take a breath, they're like, huh. And then you start again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Emma. Uh, High five yeah, with that I know, inclusion. I know. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. Okay, this last article is about how Bernie Sanders was on the Joe Rogan podcast. I haven't actually watched the podcast yet, but I will because it sounds very interesting. But basically, he has said or he has pledged that if he is elected in 2020, he will release any information about aliens. So he's not going to go. He's not going to get it. What do you mean? Oh, as in like they will ensure he doesn't get it. Yeah. So he shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. True. That's yeah. You could be right. The powers that article the over. powers that may be because he's seventy seven years old. Hmm. I like Bernie. He's been cool. Yeah. Well, I'd quite like him to you know win or whatever like that. But <laughs> ba- <laughs> yeah, do one of those things. What, what do you call it? President. <laughs> Sounds like a fun job. <laughs> <laughs> but he said, he goes, well, he goes, I will tell you, my wife would demand I tell you if I won. Because I guess his wife is like on him, like, you know, what do you, do you have access? What do you know? Tell me, whatever. And I guess he knows some stuff. So he's pretty much saying, elect me. And he even told Joe, I will release the information on your podcast. What was Joe's response? I don't know. I didn't watch that. I haven't seen the video. Was it in a transcript uh, transcript underneath it? No, he didn't say. Oh. No, he didn't say. But um, I just thought... Do you think there's stuff the president doesn't know? No, he... I think this one. Yeah. I think this one doesn't this, know. I think this one they don't tell him anything. 100%. <laughs> but even Donald Trump said... Um, that he'd been given news about a, a briefing about recent sightings. And when he was asked further, he's like, he's like, I did have one very brief meeting on it, but people are saying these, they're seeing UFOs. Do I believe in it? Not particularly. But the fact that they're giving him a briefing on it, like, I don't know. They're obviously not telling him the ins and the outs, just the surface layer. I wouldn't tell him either. He can't even read a teleprompter. Yes. Did you guys see that on the news? Is he got the name of the town wrong. wrong. After a shooting. How can you stuff that up? Okay, so the the mass shooting was in I don't know it because I'm not from over there. Um, Dayton. Oh, it was oh, no, it was Dayton. Trump. It was Dayton, right? It was El Paso and, and um and Dayton, sure. Tech, uh, Dayton, whatever. I think that was what, what it was called. And <laughs> on the teleprompter, they actually put the correct name because they put a picture on what he was actually reading, and he just said a completely different name. I've forgotten what he said. El Dorado. Texas, yeah, Texas or something. Weird. Oh, something, something really something strange. That wasn't part of it. But it's like, where did you even get that from? You are, it's in front of you. Anyways, Bernie Mac. Anyway, Bernie, Bernie Sanders. Sanders. <laughs> I know Bernie what Mac. I knew. <laughs> Bernie Mac is Bernie not Bernie Sanders, us. 77, current, um, current senator um, so from Vermont. So I, I know why you're interested in this, because you love the uh, alien 
talk. Yeah. <laughs> I want do your eyebrows. <laughs> I want it to all up, come out to the forefront, basically. Um, what, what do you? What do you like? You have. What are you expecting? Like you have some sort of expectation there. You're really hyped about this. Like oh. if you, because you're you already we already have some sort of belief that there are aliens out there. Yes. And then what? You just want confirmation. Yes. And that's it. Yeah. And then what? Just give me the confirmation that you and guys then have been lying. Back to cooking. Yeah, yeah. How, yeah, are, they, how just... are they lying? If they're not releasing any information on it, they're not lying. No, they're withholding information, and they are lying because they've blatantly said, "No, there are not aliens." That's a lie. Where but there are aliens? That? Heaps of times. Wait, there's aliens? <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> they just call everyone out for being cuckoo, which we've spoken about before on our other podcasts and whatnot. So, but I, I would just be, I like the fact that it's actually being brought more to the forefront again, which it has, it goes, you know, in peaks and troughs, but they've got that Netflix thing on there. They've got the Marines and people coming forward saying, we're seeing these sightings, etc. And now we've got a politician running and it could become, who knows, it could become quite a big part of the presidential uh, debate and whatever. What proportion of people believe in aliens? I don't know, America? but there's a lot. High. Like, is I, it enough to make it part of your presidential race? Or is it too much of a risk to make you then seem like a nutter? Yeah. Yeah. It must it must be Maxi because like he's he's said but, but, it. But I think there's a lot there's a lot of celebrities that do and there's obviously they like that uh, you know people look up to the celebrities whatever but there's a lot of celebrities that do believe in aliens. Um, the politicians Hillary Clinton even said she was gonna talk about or she wanted to get to the bottom of this of the alien. Uh, did she thing. win? In 2016, she did not. <laughs> um, but uh, I got a feeling. <laughs> Uh, Bernie's not going to be the one nah. that goes in. I don't think so. But the fact that it, come on, Bernie. even the politicians are, are like sort of saying we gotta we gotta get to the bottom of this. I don't know. And it's if Ber- us. If Bernie goes in. They're not going to tell him. Yeah. But what if what if they go? We got to the bottom of it, and there's no aliens. Then what? Well, then you're going to know that someone's pulling his strings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so, but so maybe like, there's actually no aliens. Yeah. So really, you're just looking for one answer, and if it's not the answer you're looking for, then it's, it's as a cover up. You've hit the nail on the head. <laughs> so <laughs> really, there could actually be no aliens that have come to Earth. I think there are. There, no, I think there have been. Maybe no one's coming here. No, I think they have. They have been, no and I think they Earth. have. I do think they have the craft. A hundred percent. Okay, I don't understand this. I, I, Why do aliens want to come here and stick things up on bottoms? They no, no one's well, saying they said, want to stick. Who <laughs> said? <laughs> what happened to sticking up bottoms? What happened? <laughs> How did we jump to that? Of a probing that goes on. But people say, why would they <laughs> come here? Why would they come here? Like, but why would they fly here to stick something? But why? But why not? Box? Why do we go and look at look and and look over an ant hill and study little creatures that like? Do you know what I mean? They could just be curious. Like, what are these things? How do they live? What's their planet like? What are they doing? You know, like that just exactly so as what we do find to that other out animals. By probing species. us? No, I'm not talking about probing. By giving us a colonoscopy? Stop but I'm it. definitely Stop saying that, the, that they that they could have been easily. Colonoscopy. <laughs> um, what else is what else is Bernie Mac doing? Because this can't be his whole campaign. No, no, no. That's, he wants to give the base a universal health care. Much yet. <laughs> he, he's he's a. What else are you going to give us? That's it. I'm going to tell you if there's aliens or not. I think he's actually an independent, but or he used to be an independent, but he's more of a Democrat. He's running in the Democratic candidate, and he's got a lot of backing from like the minority um, population mm. and stuff he's, like um, that. He's like not. He doesn't take money from big corporations, so he's completely people funded movement. Oh which wow, which is quite impressive. That's impressive at the level he's at by yeah. doing. And that. he wants to make Amazon accountable for their. Situation. Huh. Like, it seems like He's a like a people's well. people. Yeah. Uh, Cardi B had him on. That was the one that you saw the other week where Cardi hey. was promoting him. Hey. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, guys, follow Bernie. <laughs> oh, grr. oh grr. Um, But yeah, I just thought that was interesting that he's literally just come out and said, if I win, I'll tell you on your podcast. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell.